Hi everyone, in this video we are going to copy some files from Windows based machine specifically Windows 10. So we are going to copy some file from Windows 10 to Kali Linux machine. So you can see I have here Kali Linux machine and Windows 10. So for, for better visibility let's shift to full screen. So view and full screen. This is Windows 10 machine. And now the file which we want to copy, first we are going to create that file that will be simply test file. So I'm going to say this is simply test file and this is test.txt file. And this is available on my desktop. And if you want to see, then you can click here on uh, right click there. And then if you click on properties, it's like I'm, I'm in my virtual environment, so it's taking too long. So right click there and it shows that this is C users new B and desktop. So this is the location of this file. Okay, so we have this file and now we go to our Kali Linux machine and uh, we want to transfer, we want to copy these files using secure shell or SSH. And for that, first of all, I'm going to, let's say, uh, enable SSH services here. So first I'm going to maybe maximize the font size increase so that we can see clearly and now here we can say sudo and maybe first of all let's see what ip address we have so that is not ip but uh, if config and press enter and this ip address is 192.168.10.151 so that's the ip address and then we are going to enable or we run sudo service and that is sh start so we started that service on our Kali Linux machine and now the service has been started and now we go to our Windows based machine from here and then we go to command prompt so cmd we have to type cmd this is command prompt and in the command prompt we have to use the command that is important command we need to remember that command so that simple command is scp and secure copy and then scp and then we have to give the name of the files but for that it's good to go that where we have that file let's say on the new b we go to we, we say cd and then desktop press enter here we can see do we have that directory so yes we have you can see test.txt file is there which is actually this file which we just created and then now we are in the directory we have where we have this file which we want to copy so we are in the desktop and now here we say scp and then we give the na name of the file so in our case this file name is test.txt remember which we created just this is there here test.txt and then we say this is the name of the file and then we say uh, we want to log in in Kali Linux machine using Kali as username and then we give the IP address of our Kali Linux machine and then that was 192.168.10.151 and yeah so that is the IP address of our Kali machine. And now we need to give the location where we want to save this file on Kali Linux machine. So let's go here where we should be saving it. Let's say I'm going to uh, create a, I'm going to create a directory where we would like to save it. So for that, let's say we are going to create uh, make directory. And here maybe we can create directory, let's say my directory. So this is the directory where we want to save it and let's see where what's the present working directory so that is home kali and this is the my directory where we want to save it so we have to give this path and so we go here back to our windows 10 machine and we give the uh, the location where we want to save it so that will be after colon we give uh, home and then Kali and then we say my D I R E C T O R Y directory. So this is the location where we want to save or we want to copy this test.txt file. So this is the complete command and then we press enter 
and it's trying to get connected with that and now it's, you can see this asking for the password of Kali so Kali password by default is K-A-L-I and press enter and now you can see this file has been uh, copied in that directory but now to verify we go to Kali Linux machine here and then we say go to cd my directory and press enter and we say ls and you can see test.txt file has been copied from windows based machine to kali linux machine so steps was that we just enabled here we started a service uh, ssh service on kali linux machine and then from windows 10 machine you just use these credentials to transfer that file or to copy this file using scp secure copy and it's a file name and it's a rest of the command so i'll write that command in the description section so that you can use it easily but they, these are the steps which i wanted to show you anyway thank you thank you very much for your time hope to see you in some other video thanks